Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look today at a way to present things like this room right here. Believe it or not, this is a room. It's got furniture and artwork and all kinds of stuff on the inside. But since I modeled all six sides of this cube here, I can't actually see inside of it. So obviously there's some ways to get around that. I could turn on x-ray to take a look inside. I could grab individual surfaces, delete or hide them. Um, but I want to look at something that's a little more automatic where it's going to let me peek inside no matter where I'm looking at this room from. Um, and that has to do with putting see-through materials onto some of the faces. So if I look at this square right here, so I just have this little, little square, um, default material on it, which means there's white on one side, it's kind of this gray surface on the other side. If I pick that right now, I get my information, my entity info, and I have two boxes here. This is a surface that is on the front and the back. This is the default material. The default material is front on the face and gray on the back. So that is on both sides. What I can do is I can actually use my paint bucket tool. And when I pull that up, I'll get my colors dialog. And of course, this is going to change Windows or Mac, but the process we're going to look at is the same. I'm going to paint a new material onto the front here. Um, I'm going to use my paint bucket tool. Maybe I'll put this red on the front. All right. The back stayed the same. If I select this right now, you can see the difference. Red on the front, my default material on the back. What I can do is I can force just the back to be colored. I can pick the back. And what that'll do is it'll choose, allow me to choose the back color. I'm going to put this gray color on here. Um, again, just want to see the difference. So red on the front, gray on the back. And I'm going to modify that gray color and give it less opacity. I'm going to take it all the way down to zero. So right now, I have a red material on the front. So if this red is over something else, I can't see through it. But if I flip around to this side, I can actually see through this material. So it still has a surface there, but I can see through it from the back. So what that means is when I look at something like this cube right here, I'm going to slide this off to the side. I can select all these pieces right here, the sides that make up this room, and they have different colors. The ceiling's a different color than the walls, so I have a question mark here because there's a, a mixture, but the back faces are all the same. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that back face, and I'm going to choose that material I just made, that gray that was see-through. When I pick on it, watch it happens. It disappears. I can still see it on the inside, but as I spin around this room, I'm always seeing through the walls that are in front of me, walls or ceiling. If I look down like this, look from below, my ceiling shows up. So this is a great way to get a chance to peek into a room without having to do a whole lot of work. Now there's, I can take this a little bit further if I want to. I do still have my lines. So if I wanted to, I could grab my eraser and I can hold down the modify key to hide these lines. So if I hold down shift and just kind of mouse over and grab these lines, they kind of, they go away then. I get around to this side to see this one. Shift. So then I kind of get an unobstructed view. Now there are still a couple issues in here, obviously. I have some uh, wall hangings, that sort of thing that are in my way, um, which might not be a bad thing if I'm flipping around the room like this. I still get a feel for how the room looks. If I'm looking to actually present it, say this is a view from which I want to see the uh, entire room, so I'll look at it from over here regularly, I may choose to grab some of these items and actually put them somewhere that uh, I can toggle them on and off easily. So maybe I'll grab these three and I'll put them on a new layer. I'm just going to call them uh, invisible. So then on the invisible layer, when I get to this view, I can just quickly toggle that off and I can see that. So, oops, this is the line in my wall that's the break for that door. So I can come in here again, uh, like I did before, with Shift Erase and just get rid of those four lines, three lines. That counted as math. All right, so that way my walls will come back. And if I come off of that side, I can turn invisible back on and see that content. I could do the same thing, I break it up differently. With one sided items like this poster right here, I could actually paint the back with that same see-through material and it would disappear when I look at it from the back side. Let's do that real quick. So I'm going to double click into the image. It's actually a component. You can see I have the same image on both sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say in the back, just like I did before, use that invisible material. Oop, this is actually installed backwards. So 
I'll actually paint what is now marked as the front as the back and then shift erase the lines and look what that does no poster in the way but if I flip around it shows up on the wall that only works with single materials I could try to do that with the door but even if I go in and erase all the lines and that sort of thing I'm still gonna see things like the sides of these panels and that sort of thing show up and kind of cover up as I spin around so that's less than ideal um, this view right here though it's pretty nice it's an easy way to see what's inside the room without having to go through and spend a bunch of time and energy hiding and linking items to layers turning them on and off that sort of thing so a good option for visualization if you're designing in small spaces you like this video like the content we shared give us a like down below let us know what you like and you don't like in the comments so we can make more skill builders that address the issues that you want to see thank you